Hello guys and you're welcome. So today in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can extract frames from VLC. So I'm a aspiring storyboard artist and I try to actually do studies and reverse storyboard. So a little bit of disclaimer, you might actually run into copyright issues. So be careful of the kind of content you actually extract. So let's begin. So uh, typically if you have, let me just open a file I have here. So I have a cut from a movie and this is a very basic scene. So this is the scene and I just have two minutes of this. And by the way, I used Camtasia to just cut out any section of an MP4 player. If you don't know Camtasia, this is Camtasia. It's the, actually it's the screen recording software I'm using right now. It's called Camtasia Studio. And basically I just have a file. Let me just do a quick demo, say for instance, I have any of my videos. I'll just, it's better to just show an example. I'll go to scans and say, maybe I have uh, this one. So I'll just drag in any video. Yeah, this one. So I'll just drag this video in and say, maybe I just want to, I'll just drag this over here, place this right here. And now you can see I have this video, right? So if I just wanted this section, all I need to do is to hit split here and I'll just hit this section here and hit split and I can delete this first section and delete this section. So all I'm left with is just this clip. So I have this clip, but there's a problem. I don't have the frames from this clip and also there's audio. So if I want, I could right click and say separate video and audio and I could just drag just one of these. So just the audio and I'll hit delete. So that's basically how I got that little frame that I'm using to show as an example right here on VLC. So this is a very short frame. You can see the timeline here says it's two minutes. So it's just a two minute frame. So actually this is, um, yeah, this is super cool. So I'll just uh, I'll stop this for now. So one cool way you can actually get your frames using VLC is once it's playing, you can just go to tools, I believe. Uh, I think it's video and then take a snapshot. And basically this will take a snapshot. And this is a sample of that snapshot and it's in my PC folder. Again, just go to video and go to take snapshot. So it's in my pictures folder. So let's go ahead and just I'll hit spacebar to save that. So if I go to pictures, I should be able to see that. So these are the two snapshots I have right here. You can see this is the first one and I think this is the other one. So I just have two snapshots. This is my artwork, by the way. So uh, just I have one and I have two snapshots. But how do we extract the frames? So that takes a little bit of work, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So I'll just jump in and I believe I've just been talking too much. So I'll just... I think this is the player. Okay, this is the player. So first things first, you need to set it up to extract the frames you want. And to do that, let's go to tools, then we'll jump to preferences. So if you want tools preferences, you actually get this nice little window down here where it says show settings, click on all. So now that we have this all on so show settings, we'll actually go down if I close this and collapse all of these, I want you to just go to video. So on video, I want you to collapse and drop down the filters and just scroll down till you see something called scene filter. This is the one you need. Now for the image format, you can type JPEG, that's JPEG. Well, what I mean is uh, like JPEG. This is going to output it as a JPEG, but I just like using PNGs because they don't compress the image. So I'll just leave that at PNG. Now you have options here for the width and height. Apologies, my neighbor's dog is really being annoying right now, but just ignore that. So we have the image width and height. If I leave it at minus one and minus one, it means it is going to just use the default size that VLC sees. But if you want to use a HD resolution, you can type in 1920 by 1080. That's like 1920 by let's say 1080 and it'll give you HD resolution, but I just want to use the default resolution. So I'll hit this 
as minus one and minus one. Now it's going to ask me the pref the file name prefix. So uh, okay, this is from Prince of Egypt. So I use poe for Prince of Egypt, but you can actually use any uh, uh, prefix for it. Let's call this scene. So I'll just call this scene like that. And now it needs a directory. So yours is going to be empty and I'll just go ahead and clear all this. It's going to appear like this and you might need to just specify. Basically, it just wants to know where you want to keep those extracted frames when you've extracted them. So basically, that's what this scene means. So to get the scene path, go to any location on your system. I'm using a Windows system, so I'll just go to documents and I'll go to videos. And right here in videos, I'll just right click and create a new folder. And I'll call this folder uh, POE. So that's this folder. Now to get this folder location, where this folder is, if we click at the top here, you can see it says it's on C users PC videos POE. So I need to copy this because that's the path. And let's get back to VLC. I'll just click that and I'll get over here where it says directory path prefix and I'll just paste that there. So that's where I want this to, you know, come out. Now, here's a very important thing here. You need to really pay close attention right here because this place is really, really confusing. Very, very con. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, sorry, my kid's here and she wants to have her biscuit. All right. So... So here it actually says recording ratio and I actually have 20 right here. And what this means is it's just the frame rate. So if you want to export one image in 10 frames, so you just type 10 over here. Like, so let's say uh, 10 and you can say, uh, it usually gives a hint when you place it actually here. So every 10 frames, you know, every 10 frames is going to get, you know, one image. Because if it's 30 frames per second and the recording ratio is 30 frames per second divided by this 10. So that means this is going to be three. So you're going to get three images every one second. So if this is a two minute clip and I place, say, 30 here. That means I'm going to get three okay. images every one second. And since this is a two minute clip, that's 120 seconds. And that's going to be a lot of images. So what I want to do is just keep this simple. So I'll just say 30 like that. So based on the frames per second, I'm just going to get lesser number of images. It's kind of confusing, but that's just how it works. So what you're going to do next is just hit save. But again, if you just want every frame, every second, click one, then you can go in and do some cleanup. So this actually helps you reduce the number of images you're capturing when the uh, movie is playing. So I'll hit save, but we're not done yet. So let's go to tools, preferences, and I'll go to all again, just doing that to show you where this is. And then we'll go to video filters. Let's drag that down and we go to scene filter. And now that we have that, uh, we can click save. So let's go back to video, sorry, uh, tools, preferences, and I'll go to all. So this time around, let's not click on that scene filter, but just on the video, the filter group, not the group settings here. So if you actually click this, so that's what got me a little confused, honestly. So if you click on filters, you'll see all the filters but if you click down here you can see the filter settings now this is the settings for the alpha mask and all that we actually went to the settings for our scene filter so we need to now activate so let's go to filters drag a bit to the right and you can see scene video filters and click save and basically let me finish it okay and basically that's how you can activate that. So let's click save. So now that I've clicked save, I want to drag this to the ending. And I think I might need to restart VLC. So I'll just hit Windows Run and then hit VLC, go to my media and then open file. It's just going to go to the last location I have for that file. And once it's playing and you notice it halting, 
a little bit in a little way you can actually notice that's actually uh, working and i think it's slightly freezing so let's go to that folder location and see if these frames are actually popping up okay so, you know. so while it's still playing i'll just hover up to that folder where we have that and you can actually see we can see it popping up so it's extracting each image every 30 and frames this, this yeah that's good me that's good and we can actually see that happening because here we have one we have 30 60 90 120 it's going to keep doing that until the end of the uh, two minute timer markup now if you want to stop it at any point say hey look i'm actually satisfied with these frames you can always just stop it and that's going to stop rendering but the problem is now okay sorry but the problem is now that you've done that you might need to you need to turn that off or else vlc is going to always render whatever image you're playing so to do that let's go to tools preferences all Daddy. and simply look at that mm, dear yes dear I'm not, I'm not like this one sorry i'll get you another juice okay and then let's turn off scene video filter hit save and that's it we're done I so you've turned it off so that's one. basically how you can actually more. okay i'll get it for you i'll get more juice for you okay promise high five no you didn't make noise high five ta very good so that's how you can basically extract your more. frames so uh yeah that's it thanks Why for watching